I hope I can prove that. Let's take that one. Ah, that doesn't work. This one's good. So, brown here. Now we turn it over. <laughs> and it's white as on the first day. Eh. Your channel for swim ties. Nature in your garden and water that's alive. Enjoy watching. Hi, today we are taking a walk around our swim teich after summer. As you can see behind me, our trees are heavy with fruits. We've got apples here, we've got plums in the back, we've got up there, we've got some apricots and um, we've got pears over there. So we've got a lot of work um, to do with uh, our fruit, but at the same time we are having fun. Now let's get to our swim teich. After the summer we can say this was a wonderful season. Why? Because all season long we didn't have any haze. We had clear water all the time. All year long actually. And this is quite a surprise because it's the first time in five years that there was no period of algae bloom. Maybe this is because this summer we had a lot of rain, so actually our water was always on the highest level, more or less all over the summer, um, and it was not that hot. So maybe that's why the water stayed clear for all the month. So let's have a look at the water. Now, after summer, I have the feeling that all the nutrients that were in the water have died away or whatever um, because I watch as I look into our swim tank now I can only see this kind of dust these sediments that just settle to the ground and of course this dust it's all over the swim tank uh, let's first have a look at the walls Christian, if you come here, you can see the dust. I will show you. And I'll show you how easy it is to take that away. It's just dust. Especially in the folds, in the wrinkles. But it's easy to broom it down. And give it a push into the direction of the deep area. The reason why you can see the dust sticking to the walls um, is because there wasn't much swimming going on the last few days. Uh, normally in summer when there is jumping and bathing and swimming in the water, um, all this dust that, that uh, gathers, it floats into the direction, it floats into the deep area. And that's why you cannot uh, see it like that as we can see it now. Okay, um, I show you now the stepping stones. Of course, they also have that dust on it and I will show you how easy it is to broom that away. The dust sits on the stepping stones and by brooming you raise it and you push it into the deep area. I think you can see that nicely
So now I show you um, when you raise uh, the dust, when you broom it, when you try to broom it down. Um, of course, it also sets between the little pebbles, between the stones, and uh, we don't really want that. It doesn't make a nice picture, and it's not good for the water. So now I show you why I like my algae kesher, my algae landing net so much. Because this sits between the stones. You cannot, you cannot take it out. So what you do is, you go in with your landing net, like this, you raise the dust and you take it off the water. I hope you can see that how much dust there is in the water. Of course, I developed a kind of technique. <laughs> yeah. And now have a look what we have. That was half a minute, so I was quite successful. And uh, when it is like that, I really like to do that. It's, uh, you take out the nutrients that could develop again when it's getting warm and hot in the next summer. Okay, so um, this is the best time to do the work, um, the cleaning work. Uh, I want to show you something else. I want to show you something for those among us that love cleaning and that love clean stones. Uh, in the end of the summer, as I said, it is much easier to get rid of the biofilm and the dust um, because it's not that sticky anymore, it's not that slippery anymore. And I want to show you how easy it is with an old brush and a cotton rag to clean your, uh, your swim teich. Um, these stones I have already uh, cleaned a few weeks ago. Now you can walk on them very nicely. On those you cannot. It's slippery, very slippery. Um, but as I said, nowadays it's really easy to get rid of that biofilm, of that slippery biofilm. And I want to show you how I do that. Just step down and a brush. Change the direction from once in a while. Yeah. And as you see, that was again half a minute. It's already nearly finished. If I'm very picky, I do the edges some more. And then I go to the next one. So that's a perfect uh, thing to do on a warm, sunny, autumn day. And what I have to add when we talk about our stepping stones, those stones, those brown ones, we haven't cleaned them at all since we have it. So since we have the swim tie. So that's five years. Five years you do nothing, then they look like that and they are slippery. Um, now this is the first time in five years that I shrubbed the stones and if you are not into shrubbing and cleaning then I've got a tip for you. i show you something. You can just turn them over and they look like new. I hope I can prove that. Let's take that one. Ah, that doesn't work. This basket. 
so brown here. Now we turn it over. <laughs> and it's white as on the first day. Eh. But it doesn't fit, fit in. Let's see. So the easiest way to keep your um, swim tie and the surrounding clean and proper is to turn your stones over once a year. We will probably do it every second or third year. Um, and of course you can do that with every stone. It's not only with the stepping stones. Take a rock, turn it over and it has color again. You can do that with everything. Hmm? Um, what I have to mention is that in summer there is very little work to do because there are no leaves or nearly nearly no leaves falling into the water um, yeah but when the fall comes with uh, storms and wind then our work starts but um, Christian found a solution for us um, to help us with all these leaves that fall into our water. Um, he had an idea with some nets, but this we're going to show you in one of our next videos. So if you are interested what we do in fall, uh, subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumb up if you like the videos and uh, see you next time. Thank you. Ines. <laughs>